Appearance The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake is the largest venomous snake in North America. It can reach lengths of up to 8 feet, 2.4 meters or more, with some individuals even exceeding 8 feet. It has a distinctive pattern of diamond-shaped markings along its back, which are outlined by darker bands. The snake's coloration can vary, ranging from grayish to brownish tones. Venom Like all rattlesnakes, the eastern diamondback possesses venomous fangs that it uses to inject venom into its prey. The venom contains a mix of enzymes and toxins that immobilize the prey and aid in digestion. While its venom is potent and can be dangerous to humans, rattlesnakes generally prefer to avoid confrontation and will usually only strike when threatened. Rattles The most iconic feature of the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is its rattle, which is a series of interlocking keratinous segments at the end of its tail. When the snake vibrates its tail, these segments make a buzzing or rattling sound, which serves as a warning to potential predators or threats. The number of segments in the rattle generally increases with each shedding of the snake's skin. Habitat This species is found primarily in the southeastern United States, ranging from North Carolina down through Florida and west to Louisiana. It prefers a variety of habitats including pine forests, coastal dunes, marshes and even agricultural areas. They are also known to inhabit brushy and grassy habitats. Diet Eastern Diamondbacks are carnivorous predators that feed mainly on small mammals such as rodents and rabbits. They use their keen sense of smell and specialized heat-sensing pits on their faces to locate their prey. Behavior These rattlesnakes are typically solitary animals and are most active during the warmer months. They are known for their basking behavior, where they will position themselves in sunny spots to absorb heat and regulate their body temperature. During colder months, they may become less active and may even hibernate. Conservation The eastern diamondback rattlesnake faces various threats, including habitat loss, road mortality and intentional killing due to fear. Their populations have declined in some areas, leading to conservation concerns. In several states, they are protected by law to prevent their decline and promote their conservation. Reproduction Breeding typically occurs in the spring, with males engaging in combat for the right to mate with females. After mating, the female gives birth to live young over viviparous reproduction rather than laying eggs. A clutch can consist of 6 to 25 young snakes, each measuring about 10 inches, 25 centimeters in length. Appearance The western diamondback rattlesnake is one of the larger rattlesnake species, growing to an average length of 3 to 4 feet, 0.9 to 1.2 meters, although some individuals can reach lengths of up to 6 feet, 1.8 meters. Its coloration varies, but it usually features a background color ranging from pale gray to pinkish brown, adorned with a pattern of diamond-shaped markings along its back, which are bordered by darker bands. Venom Like other rattlesnakes, the western diamondback possesses venomous fangs that it uses to inject venom into its prey. Its venom contains a mixture of enzymes and toxins that immobilize prey and initiate digestion. While its venom can be potent, these snakes generally avoid confrontation and will usually rattle as a warning before striking. Rattles Just like the eastern diamondback, the western diamondback rattlesnake has a distinct rattle at the end of its tail made up of interlocking keratinous segments. When the snake vibrates its tail, these segments produce the iconic buzzing or rattling sound as a defensive warning. Habitat The western diamondback is found in a range spanning from the southwestern United States, including Arizona, New Mexico and parts of Texas, down through Mexico. It inhabits a diverse array of environments, including desert scrubland, grasslands, rocky areas, and even pine oak forests. Diet Western diamondback rattlesnakes are carnivorous predators that mainly feed on small mammals, such as rodents, rabbits, and occasionally birds. They possess an excellent sense of smell and specialized heat-sensing pits on their faces, which help them locate their prey. Behavior 
These rattlesnakes are generally solitary creatures and they are most active during the warmer months. They are known for basking behavior where they position themselves in sunny spots to absorb heat and regulate their body temperature. During colder periods, they may become less active or hibernate. Conservation The Western Diamondback rattlesnake is not listed as endangered, but like other rattlesnake species, it faces threats such as habitat loss due to urbanization and agricultural development, as well as being killed due to fear and misunderstanding. Reproduction Breeding usually occurs in the spring and early summer. Males compete for the opportunity to mate with females, engaging in combat that involves intertwining their bodies and pushing against each other. Females give birth to live young, typically ranging from 4 to 25 in a litter. Parents Copperheads are moderately sized snakes, typically ranging from 2 to 3 feet, 60 to 90 centimeters in length. They have a robust body with a broad triangular shaped head. The name copperhead comes from the snake's coloration, which is a mix of coppery or reddish brown tones, often with darker crossbands that are more prominent in younger individuals. Venom. Copperheads are venomous, but their venom is considered relatively mild compared to some other venomous snake species like rattlesnakes. Their venom primarily serves to immobilize their prey, which consists of small mammals, birds, frogs, and insects. While their bite can be painful and cause localized swelling and tissue damage, severe envenomations are rare, and fatalities from copperhead bites are extremely uncommon. Habitat Copperheads are found in a variety of habitats throughout the eastern and central United States. They can be encountered in deciduous forests, woodlands, grasslands, rocky areas, and even suburban environments. They are known to be good climbers and swimmers. Range There are several subspecies of copperheads that are distributed across different regions of North America, from the northeastern United States down to parts of Mexico. Behavior Copperheads are generally nocturnal or crepuscular, which means they are most active during the evening and early morning hours. During the hotter months, they might also be active during cooler parts of the day. They are ambush predators, often lying in wait for their prey and relying on their camouflaged appearance to remain hidden. Defense when threatened or approached closely, copperheads may adopt a defensive posture by coiling up and raising their head off the ground. They may also vibrate their tails, although the rattling sound is much quieter and less noticeable than that of rattlesnakes. Reproduction Copperheads give birth to live young in a process known as ovoviviparity. They do not lay eggs but instead retain the eggs inside their bodies until the young snakes are ready to emerge. A typical litter can consist of 1 to 20 offspring. Conservation. Copperheads are generally not considered endangered or threatened. However, they can sometimes be negatively affected by habitat loss, road mortality, and persecution due to fear. Their role in controlling rodent populations makes them ecologically important. Misidentification. One of the challenges with copperheads is that they can be mistaken for non-venomous species, like some harmless water snakes and milk snakes. Learning to correctly identify venomous and non-venomous snakes is crucial for safety. Appearance Cottonmouths are large and stout snakes, with adults reaching lengths of 2 to 4.5 feet, 0.6 to 1.4 meters, on average. They have a distinctive blocky head that is wider than their neck, and their eyes have vertical pupils. Their coloration varies from dark brown to nearly black, often with a pattern of darker crossbands along their bodies. Younger individuals are lighter in color and have a more vibrant pattern. Habitat these snakes are commonly found in and around aquatic habitats, such as swamps, marshes, slow-moving streams, rivers, and lakes. They are strong swimmers and can often be observed basking near the water's edge. Venom The cottonmouth possesses venom that it uses to subdue its prey, which mainly consists of fish, amphibians, small mammals, and birds. While their bite can be painful and cause localized swelling and tissue damage, serious envenomations in humans are relatively uncommon. 
Bites are generally treated seriously due to the potential for infection and tissue damage from the venom. Behavior. Cotton mouths are known for their aggressive and defensive behavior. When threatened, they may open their mouths wide to display the white lining, a behavior that earned them the common name cotton mouth. They will often stand their ground and may strike if they feel cornered or provoked. Range. The cottonmouth's range extends from the southeastern United States along the Atlantic coast to parts of Texas and up into the southeastern corner of Missouri. Nocturnal and crepuscular. Cottonmouths are primarily nocturnal or crepuscular, which means they are most active during the evening and early morning hours when temperatures are cooler. Reproduction. Cottonmouths are viviparous, meaning they give birth to live young. The female retains the eggs inside her body until they hatch, and then she gives birth to 1 to 20 live offspring. This occurs in late summer or early fall. Conservation While cottonmouth populations are generally stable, they can face habitat loss and persecution due to misunderstandings about their behavior and danger to humans. However, they play an important ecological role in their habitats by helping to control populations of various aquatic animals. Misidentification Cottonmouths are sometimes mistaken for non-venomous water snakes, which can lead to unnecessary fear and harm to harmless species. Proper identification is crucial for both safety and conservation efforts. Appearance Timber rattlesnakes are medium to large snakes, with adults typically ranging from 3 to 5 feet 0 0.9 to 1.5 meters in length. They have a robust body with a triangular-shaped head that is broader than their neck. Their coloration can vary, but they often have a background color that blends with their surroundings, along with dark, wide crossbands that run down their body. The coloration can range from gray to yellowish-brown to reddish-brown. Venom. Timber rattlesnakes have venomous fangs that they use to deliver venom into their prey. Their venom contains a mix of enzymes and toxins that immobilize their prey and initiate digestion. While their bites can be painful and cause localized swelling and tissue damage, fatalities are extremely rare due to prompt medical treatment and the relatively mild nature of their venom. Rattles. Timber rattlesnakes have the characteristic rattlesnake rattle at the end of their tails. The rattle is composed of interlocking keratinous segments that create a buzzing sound when the snake vibrates its tail. The number of segments increases with each shedding of the snake's skin. Habitat Timber rattlesnakes are found in a variety of habitats, including deciduous forests, mixed woodlands, and sometimes even grasslands and swampy areas. They tend to prefer areas with good cover and access to basking sites. Range Timber rattlesnakes are found in the eastern United States, ranging from the northeastern states down to parts of the southeastern United States. Their range is expansive and includes a diverse array of environments. Behavior These snakes are primarily terrestrial and are often found basking on rocks or logs to regulate their body temperature. They are most active during warmer months and will hibernate during the colder winter months. Diet Timber rattlesnakes are carnivorous predators that mainly feed on small mammals such as rodents and rabbits. They use their heat-sensing pits and keen sense of smell to locate prey. Reproduction Breeding usually occurs in the spring or fall. After mating, the female gives birth to live young in a process known as oviviparity. A litter can consist of 4 to 20 offspring, which are born with fully functional venom glands. Conservation Timber rattlesnakes face threats such as habitat loss, road mortality, and persecution due to fear. However, they also play an important ecological role by helping to control rodent populations. Appearance Eastern coral snakes have a distinctive and striking appearance. They are relatively small snakes, usually ranging from 1.5 to 2.5 feet 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 meters in length. They have a slender body with smooth scales and a small rounded head. Their coloration consists of bands of red, yellow and black arranged in a specific pattern. Red bands touching yellow bands separated by black bands. 
This pattern is often summarized in the rhyme, Red touches yellow, kill a fellow. Red touches black, friend of Jack. Venom. Coral snakes possess potent neurotoxic venom that affects the nervous system, causing paralysis and potentially leading to respiratory failure if not treated promptly. However, bites from coral snakes are relatively rare due to their reclusive nature and non-aggressive behavior. Coral snakes have small fangs and a less effective venom delivery mechanism compared to pit vipers like rattlesnakes. Habitat eastern coral snakes are found in the southeastern United States, ranging from North Carolina down through Florida and into Louisiana. They prefer a variety of habitats, including forests, woodlands, and sandy areas. They are also known to inhabit areas near water sources. Range The eastern coral snake's range overlaps with that of the scarlet snake, which is a non-venomous snake that looks similar. This resemblance can lead to confusion and potential misidentification. Behavior Coral snakes are reclusive and elusive snakes. They spend much of their time hidden underground or beneath leaf litter. When disturbed, they may hide their head and raise their tail, exposing the brightly colored bands as a warning sign. Diet Coral snakes primarily feed on small reptiles and amphibians, including other snakes and their eggs. They are opportunistic predators that rely on their potent venom to subdue their prey. Conservation The eastern coral snake is not currently considered threatened or endangered. However, like many snake species, it can face habitat loss and persecution due to fear. Reproduction Coral snakes are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. Females lay a small clutch of eggs in hidden locations. And after an incubation period, the eggs hatch into neonate snakes that are fully capable of delivering venom, first aid and medical attention. While bites from eastern coral snakes are rare, they should be treated as a medical emergency. If bitten, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. The standard first aid is to keep the bitten limb immobilized, which can help slow the spread of venom through the bloodstream. Appearance. Garter snakes are typically small to medium-sized, with adults ranging from 18 to 55 inches, 46 to 140 centimeters, in length, depending on the species. They have slender bodies and a relatively small head. Their coloration can vary widely but often includes a background of green, brown or black, with longitudinal stripes running along the length of their bodies. These stripes can be of various colors, such as yellow, white, or red. Habitat Garter snakes are adaptable and can be found in a range of environments, including grasslands, forests, wetlands, and suburban areas. They are also known to inhabit aquatic habitats and are good swimmers. Diet Garter snakes are opportunistic predators and feed on a variety of prey, including insects, earthworms, amphibians, fish, small mammals, and even other snakes. They have a specialized jaw joint that allows them to swallow prey larger than their head. Behavior Garter snakes are active during the day and night, depending on the species and local temperature. They are known for their ability to secrete a foul-smelling musk from glands near the base of their tail when threatened. This musk acts as a deterrent to predators. Reproduction Garter snakes are ovoviviparous, meaning they give birth to live young after the eggs develop internally. Females retain the eggs within their bodies until the young snakes are ready to be born. A single litter can range from a few to over 80 offspring, depending on the species and size of the female. Harmless nature Garter snakes are non-venomous and are not considered dangerous to humans. They have small teeth at the back of their mouths, and while they may bite if threatened, their bite is generally harmless and not intended as a defense mechanism. Mimicry Some garter snake species exhibit Batesian mimicry, where they resemble more dangerous or venomous species to deter predators. For example, the California red-sided garter snake, Thamnophis sertalis infernalis, has evolved coloration resembling that of the venomous western coral snake. Conservation, garter snakes are not typically considered threatened or endangered, but their populations can be affected by habitat loss and fragmentation. They are beneficial to ecosystems as they help control populations of small vertebrates and invertebrates. 
Relationship with humans. Garter snakes are often welcomed in gardens and yards due to their role in controlling pests like slugs and insects. They can be observed basking in the sun or moving through grassy areas. Appearance. Bull snakes are relatively large snakes, often reaching lengths of 4 to 6 feet, 1.2 to 1.8 meters, with some individuals even surpassing 8 feet, 2.4 meters. They have a robust body with a relatively small head. Their coloration varies, but they usually have a background color that ranges from light brown to yellowish, with dark blotches or bands running along their body. The pattern can resemble that of a rattlesnake, with some individuals even having tail markings that mimic a rattle. Habitat Bull snakes inhabit a variety of habitats, including grasslands, prairies, open woodlands, and even farmland. They are particularly common in areas with abundant rodents, which make up a significant portion of their diet. Diet Bull snakes are constrictors, which means they overpower their prey by coiling around it and squeezing until the prey can no longer breathe. Their diet consists mainly of small mammals, such as rodents, rabbits, and ground nesting birds. Behavior Bull snakes are known for their defensive behavior, which can include hissing loudly, striking, and even vibrating their tails against the ground to imitate the sound of a rattlesnake. Despite these behaviors, they are non-venomous and harmless to humans. Range Bull snakes are found across much of North America, ranging from Canada down to Mexico. They have a broad distribution and can be encountered in various habitats. Reproduction Bull snakes are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. They typically lay their eggs in sandy or loose soil, and after an incubation period, the eggs hatch into young snakes. Conservation. Bull snakes are not considered endangered or threatened. They can be beneficial to human populations by helping to control rodent populations. Misidentification. Due to their appearance and defensive behaviors, bull snakes are sometimes mistaken for rattlesnakes. However, it's important to note that bull snakes lack venomous fangs and are harmless to humans. Ecological role. Bull snakes play a role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems by controlling rodent populations. Their presence can be valuable in agricultural and natural settings. Appearance. Rat snakes come in a range of sizes, colors, and patterns. They typically have slender bodies and elongated heads. Their coloration can vary widely, often resembling the environment they inhabit. Some common species include the corn snake, black rat snake, and Texas rat snake. Habitat. Rat snakes are highly adaptable and can be found in a variety of habitats, including forests, grasslands, farmlands, and even urban areas. They are excellent climbers and can often be observed climbing trees or other structures. Diet. As their name implies, rat snakes are skilled hunters of rodents. They also feed on other small mammals, birds, eggs, and sometimes even insects. Their ability to control rodent populations makes them valuable in agricultural and ecological settings. Behavior. Rat snakes are generally docile and non-aggressive toward humans. When threatened, they may vibrate their tail, hiss, or flatten their body to appear larger. Unlike venomous snakes, they lack specialized venom delivery structures like fangs. Reproduction. Rat snakes are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. After mating, females lay eggs in concealed locations, such as under logs or rocks. The eggs incubate for a period of time before hatching. Range. Rat snakes are found in a variety of regions, including North America, Asia, and Europe. Different species have adapted to specific ecosystems within these regions. Conservation. Many rat snake species are not considered threatened or endangered. However, habitat loss, road mortality, and persecution due to fear still pose potential challenges for some populations. Captive breeding. Rat snakes are popular choices among snake enthusiasts and are commonly kept as pets. They are relatively easy to care for and are bred in captivity for the pet trade. Cryptic behavior. 
Some rat snakes are known for their cryptic behavior, which includes coiling up and tucking their heads under their bodies when threatened. This behavior can make them resemble venomous snakes like vipers. Educational importance. Rat snakes are often used in educational programs to teach people about snakes and dispel myths and fears associated with them. Their non-venomous nature and diverse appearances make them suitable ambassadors for snake education. Appearance. Coach whips are slender and elongated snakes with adults typically ranging from 3 to 6 feet, 0.9 to 1.8 meters in length, although some individuals can exceed 8 feet, 2.4 meters. They have a pointed head and large eyes with round pupils. Their coloration varies, often featuring a background of tan, brown, or gray, with darker bands that are usually wider on the sides and narrower on the Habitat. Coach whips inhabit a range of environments, including grasslands, deserts, scrublands, and even coastal dunes. They are commonly found in areas with sandy or loose soil. Diet. These snakes are active predators that feed on a variety of prey, including small mammals, birds, lizards, insects, and even other snakes. They are known for their swift hunting behavior and agility. Behavior. Coach whips are among the fastest snakes, capable of reaching speeds of up to 8 miles per hour, 13 kilometers per hour. They use their speed to chase down prey and quickly escape from potential threats. When cornered, they may raise their head and neck and coil their body in a manner reminiscent of a striking snake, which can be intimidating. Range Coach whips are found throughout much of North America, ranging from the southern United States into Mexico. Different subspecies are adapted to various regions and habitats. Defense mechanisms. When threatened, coach whips may vibrate their tail against vegetation, creating a buzzing sound that resembles that of a rattlesnake. This behavior, along with their fast movements, can deter potential predators. Reproduction. Coach whips are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. Females lay eggs in concealed locations, and the eggs hatch after an incubation period. Conservation. Many coach whip populations are stable, but habitat loss and fragmentation can still pose threats to some regions. They are beneficial to ecosystems as they help control populations of small vertebrates and invertebrates. Nocturnal activity. Coach whips are primarily active during the day, but they can also be active at dawn and dusk, particularly during hot weather. Cryptic coloration. Some coach whip subspecies have evolved coloration that matches their habitat, helping them blend in with their surroundings and avoid detection by predators and prey.